So my name is Stephanie Dimmler. I come from Frankfurt. I'm very honored to present this year's Paul Dudley White Lecture, which is uh, on understanding the dark genome and its involvement and usability for cardiovascular disease. What is the dark genome? Actually, when Craig Venter sequenced the human genome, it turned out that only little information is giving rise to proteins, and humans just have 23,000 genes, while plants have many more. So humans just have very little 3% coding information, and 97% of the information is not encoding for proteins. The sequences are transcribed into RNAs, and many of these RNAs may have regulatory functions. Among these RNAs are small, so-called non-coding RNAs, such as microRNAs. These are very tiny pieces of RNAs, roughly 22 nucleotides long. Two thousands of these microRNAs have been identified in humans, and many have functions in the cardiovascular system. So they can control cardiac fibrosis, cardiomyocyte cell death. They can also regulate cardiomyocyte proliferation, and therefore might be very interesting as therapeutic targets for, cardiovascular, for treating cardiovascular disease. We were particularly interested in microRNAs controlling vascular functions and cardiac repair, and identified one microRNA called microRNA 92A, which we showed to be important in regulating the recovery after acute myocardial infarction. Inhibition of these microRNAs enhanced the cardiac function after myocardial infarction in small animals, but also in a larger animal model, which is more preclinical relevant. It also improves the reenterization and reduces arteriosclerotic lesion burden. And finally, very interestingly, inhibition of this microRNA also reduced metabolic syndrome, meaning weight gain after high-fat diet feeding. Based on this promising capacities of inhibitors of this microRNA 92A, we developed a preclinical program to now bring these findings into the clinic. Therefore, we did some first extraproratory toxicology studies and also some findings of compounds. So we used different types of compounds to find the best inhibitors for this microRNA. So besides the small non-coding RNAs, there are also long non-coding RNAs. And we roughly experienced 30,000 of these long non-coding RNAs in the humans. And these long non-coding RNAs have diverse functions, such as controlling epigenetic pathways. They can control transcription factors and have distinct functions also in the regulation of splicing. And although they are less explored, a few first examples suggest that these long non-coding RNAs also have regulatory functions in the cardiovascular system and may be even used as therapeutic targets also to treat cardiovascular disease. I hope these examples helped you to get interested in this the dark genome, and I'm looking forward to meeting you at the AHA sessions tomorrow, and I'm happy to discuss with you these important topics. It's really a big honor to be here at AHA and provide this international lecture. Yeah.